What's up guys, it's me Presley, and today I'm back with part two on how to get rich in Overlook Bay. And I've got even more really awesome hacks to show you guys. If you haven't seen part one, don't worry, watch part one after this because you don't need to watch it in any order. But guys, before we get started, if you're new here, let's do the three second sub challenge. But if you're already part of the awesome pretzel army, you guys can do the three second like challenge like we always do. And guys, if you do this within the three second countdown, make sure to comment down below mega fan. Okay guys, are you ready for this? Let's do it in three, two, one. One, done. Guys, did you get it done that time limit? If you did, comment down below mega fan and let's get straight into this. So for this first hack, let's head outside of our house because we need to go and find a fruit tree. And as you guys can see, we've actually got a fruit tree outside of our house. Yay! So whenever you see a fruit tree, guys, go up, press E, and then shake it. And then guys, as you can see, you shake it and some fruit will fall. So you just want to go and you want to collect this fruit because you can actually go and sell it to Clyde Organic in the grocery store. It's really, really cool. You can plant four around your house, but then if you have the game pass, you can plant even more out the back and you can have four here. So pretty much you can plant eight trees in your house in total. It's so much guys and it's so awesome. And fruit trees aren't only in your backyard and front yard. They're actually all around it. So let's go, let's pull out our car. But while we're heading over there, guys, don't forget that I'm doing a massive Roblox giveaway. All you need to do to enter is just leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below your Roblox username. That's it. And if you want some extra entries, go follow me over on my Instagram and subscribe to my family channel, Empire Family. And once you guys do all those things, you'll be in the draw to win. But I am slightly lost right now, so I have no idea where the exit is. I think it's up this hill, and then a straight? I don't know. Oh, oh, there it is, guys. We got so close. It's a straight and then a turn. I've got to remember that. I can never remember the Overlook Bay map because it's just so big, which is really, really cool. So let's head through here. And guys, straight away, when we come out, we can see more fruit trees. So if we just head down this path, we can jump out of our car and shake these fruit trees. And these fruit trees are actually free to get. So let's go. Let's collect some more fruit. And guys, I don't have time to go and collect it from every single tree because there's over 12 around the map. So uh, it's going to take you a while to collect all of them but it's totally worth it because you can sell it for a lot of money over at Clyde Organic and he's right next to the grocery store so if we head through here oh my gosh oh we're crashing into everything today guys well let's stop here and as you can see we have Clyde Organic and he's waving at us because he's going to buy some fruit from us so let's go he says why hello there Presley for sure is it just a beautiful day ah oh, the smell of manure in the air makes me smile what can Clyde do for you <laughs> I don't know why I come up with those weird voices, guys. But what you want to do is press sell and then press sell items. So then you just want to select all of the fruits that's in your backpack. There we go. That's so much fruit. And then we can go and sell it. And he says 207 gems. That's a lot, guys. Then you can just press confirm and boom. He gives you 207 gems from a few pieces of fruit in your backpack. It's so, so crazy. And if you want some fruit trees in your own garden, what you want to do is talk to him again and then press show shop. That was a mouthful to get out. Show shop. Go try and say that to your parents. Go and say, hey mum, show shop. It just sounds, show shop. Shop, show. I can't even say it guys. But as you can see, now there's so many different types of seeds that we can choose. And the more expensive the seeds, the more you can sell the fruit for. If we X this off, as you can see, the apples, you can only sell one apple for $5. But the peaches, you can sell it for 25 gems a piece, which, which is quite a lot, guys. So go collect a bunch of fruit from around the map and let's get into this next hack. So for this hack, we need to get back into our car and we need to head over to the pet shop. So let's go, let's go around here. Come on, let's see, can I get here in perfect time? Let's Let's go and let's not crash into anything. Oh my god. No! I was too distracted on how well we did that I crashed. I'm sad guys, but now we're out of that bush and now we need to go perfect park right there. There we go and let's head inside the pet shop. And if we head inside here and we head straight down the hallway, we could see this cool mystery wheel over here and you can actually spin this for pretty much free. So every time you do a task for your pet, you get five paw badges and you might be thinking, Presley, what are paw badges? What? Well, poor badges are spent to spin this wheel and you need a hundred poor badges to be able to spin it. So let's walk up to it and see how many we have. We've got 200 guys, a perfect amount to be able to go and spin the wheel twice. And you can actually get so many things from this pet wheel. You can get pets, you can get tickets, you can even get a lot of gems, which is why we're here guys. I really want to get some gems from this wheel. Let's go, let's spin it and let's see what we're gonna get. Come on, let's go. It's spinning, what's it gonna be? Come on. Oh guys, we got gems. 
150 gems, guys. That's so awesome. That's so cool. Guys, I think I'm going to save my other 100 pet badges for another day. I think I'm going to spend it later. But the only way that you can get the poor badges is by going and doing tasks. So make sure that every time you get a task, go do it straight away. Because you can get so many poor badges that you can go and spend to spin this wheel. And also, it levels up your pets. Which means you can make it a shiny even quicker. Like, why wouldn't you level up your pets and do the tasks? And that makes you really rich having shiny pets as well. So just by, like, doing simple things, you can get rich really Really fast. That's what I love about Overlook Bay. It's really easy to get really rich. And I just noticed that person's scary face in front of me. I had like an evil smile and just blue or angry eyes. And speaking of needs, that's actually another way to make money. As you can see, we've got a few needs here. Our pet is hungry, we're so bored, we need to go to the beach, and I smell bad, really bad. So guys, here is where all of your tasks go. And in an update of Overlook Bay really soon, these tasks are actually going to be up at the top. Guys, while you're playing this, a few things might be in different spots, but it will generally be the same sort of thing. Like, I'm pretty sure that these are going to be moved up to the top, but guys, it's just going to be the same thing. The tasks will always be the same. So as you can see, we've got some tasks down there, and let's teleport to our house. Let's go. And our unicorn is thirsty, so let's give her some water just there. Oh no! Is she okay? She got her head stuck. Looks like she's not thirsty anymore. She's just taking a nap. Lying down. I guess she is sleepy. So let's go. Let's let her sleep in bed. And I smell bad. So I'm going to jump in the shower. And the rewards from the pet needs are different to the rewards from the human needs. So the human needs get gems. Like I just got 15 gems. Whereas the pet needs, they only get XP. And where did my unicorn go? I leave you alone for two seconds while I'm having a shower. And you disappear. Let's pull her out again. That was just so weird. There we go. That was so strange. Anyway, guys, our unicorn has leveled up a little bit, but our unicorn needs a name. And it told me we've got Starburst, but I want a different unicorn name for an Overlook Bay. So let me know your name ideas down in the comments below because the Pretzel Army always come up with the best names. But let's go, and I'm just going to do the tasks as they appear because it can get you so many gems really, really fast. And there's even tasks that are like, if you complete five parents and five pet needs, you get 100 gems. It's so, so cool. Like, Earn 250 pet XP, gets you 50 gems. It's just so, so simple to get gems. That's what I love about the game. It's so easy. You're legit having fun and you're getting gems. It's so crazy. Oh, and a hot coffee will be delightful at midnight. Is it the middle of the night right now? It is the middle of the night and I'm asking for coffee. That sounds about right. Let's go. Let's teleport into the city and let's go and get ourselves a hot coffee for the last task. And then we can head over to the next hack. But let's go. Let's grab out a super duper car. There we go. And let's just go vroom vroom over to the coffee shop. Oh no! We just crashed into that person. You guys didn't see that. Did you? I must erase your memory. Grab out. The Neuralizer, I think it's called from Men in Black. <laughs> Guys, if you haven't seen Men in Black, it's a really funny movie. And like, they use the little, and they use these little red lasers to just wipe people's memories. But guys, let's jump out of our car. I just crashed my car while I was talking. Oh my gosh, Willy Wonka? There is Willy Wonka in Overlook Bay. Oh my gosh, take a look. It's a full Willy Wonka outfit as well. That person's awesome. Shout out to you, Willy Wonka. But let's go, and quickly before this need expires, let's head inside. And guys, that's right, needs do sadly expire. In an 8 minute cycle, the needs go from yellow to orange to red. And once they get red, they're about to disappear. So you might see some of these needs disappearing. That's not because I'm pressing the X. Never press the X on your needs because uh, it's useless. You don't get gems. Like, why would you X off gem? And once they get to red, they disappear. So after eight minutes, the tasks disappear. And that makes sure that you're not going AFK, getting a hundred tasks, and then getting like, like hundreds and hundreds of gems really, really fast. But guys, they don't need to have that system in place because we get hundreds and hundreds of gems really, really fast. Did we start the video at like a hundred gems? I feel like we started the video at about 11,000 gems and now we've almost got 11,500. That's so, so crazy. But this need is about to expire. The, a hot coffee would be delightful one. A uh, cup of coffee, there we go. Let's check out and let's buy it for five gems. And there we go. Now we can sip on a nice cup of coffee. Guys, have you seen the movie Elf where the guy walks into the coffee shop and he's like, world's best cup of coffee. Congratulations. Congratulations. World's best cup of coffee. Great job, everybody. Out of the blue, and it's like a really bad coffee. <laughs> Guys, 
I love the movie Elf. Like every single Christmas, and even when it's not Christmas, my mum puts it on and we just laugh the whole time. It's a really funny movie. But let's go, let's drink our hot cup of coffee, and then let's also teleport to my house, do a few more needs, and then we can go. Wait, I swear, our unicorn was just like this thin. It was like, whoop. That was so crazy. So for this next money hack, we actually need to leave the server and come back. So let's do that. And another quick money hack is to go on like Overlook Bay because when they get to like certain like amounts, they go and give out free gems and free pet tickets. Like they say surprise at 100,000 likes. Like that's what they do. At every milestone for likes, they give out gems. It's so crazy. So make sure to go like the game. I can't like the game right now because it says I need to verify my email. It's really nice of them. They're really generous. They don't have to do that sort of stuff, but they do. They're just so nice. The team of Overlook Bay, they're so nice. And just for hitting one button, they're giving us free gems. It's so crazy. So we're back in Overlook Bay, and when you first log into the game, you press play, and you get this screen that pops up. And it's your login streak. As you can see, there's so many prizes that you can claim just by logging in every single day. And today, I'm on my second day login streak, so let's collect some gems. Ten gems for free for logging in two days in a row. It's just so, so crazy. So make sure to log in every single day, because you can get so many prizes. You can get pet tickets, even a diamond pet ticket. You can get some pet XP, which gets you poor badges as well, which gets you gems. There's just so much stuff that you can get from here and yes I have a two-day login streak I know it's sad that's all I have to say but anyway guys don't forget to enter my Roblox giveaway all you need to do to enter is leave a like subscribe and comment down below your Roblox username and don't forget to go follow me over on my Instagram and subscribe to my family channel if I fam to be able to go and win some Robux anyway guys have the best day ever and I'll see you in the next one peace